this video is all about how to draft the back cowl neckline so there are loads of videos on youtube on how to draft the front cowl but then you don't really see so much on the back cowl and i'm about to show you how to achieve that using the back bodice block so you have your bodice and first thing you have to do is to measure your back neck depth so how deep do you want the cowl to be you have to determine that and mark so basically from what i'm doing i don't want it to be too deep so i just marked around the bra length then you measure the neck width which is of course how wide you want the neck to be but then whatever you've done for your front pattern also determines what you have there then of course you connect neck width to neck depth with a line and then you need to measure the length of that line so it looks like you're doing a v-neck now but that's not it you just need to measure the length of that line that we've drawn and then you need to take note of that measurement because we're going to use it very very soon the measurement of the line is 16 cm and then we're going to get a new sheet of paper what you do is from the top of the paper you measure a 10 cm or just you know leave some room but let's just say you leave a 10 cm so i've marked that now what we'll do next is to square out a line from that point now we'll square out that line by the measurement of the neck depth to neck width line that we had measured before so as we had before it was 16 cm so i squared out now by 16 cm now after doing this you just keep the paper aside and we move back to our back bodies pattern and what we will do now is to measure the width of our waist dart now because we're doing a cow we're going to take out these darts this dart will not be applied and that dart was 4 cm wide so i'm going to measure the 4 cm now from the center back inwards you just measure from the center back inwards whatever the width of your dart is then you mark now the points we have are the neck width neck depth and then that center back waist point we take out the, the back bodies again and bring back our paper so now i'll place the back bodies pattern on this new paper to trace but then to trace i'm going to have to match the back neck width point that point there to the 16 where the 16 cm line ends and then the center back point you know that um dart width that we marked must also meet at the edge of the paper which is our new center back and then you trace the pattern as i am doing now so you trace the armhole the side seam and the point you would stop would be at the first leg of the waist dot so that first leg there is where to stop and then you just trace like so yeah so now i'm done tracing i'm going to take off the bodice pattern this is my new pattern next you square out a horizontal line to that where the dot point ends you know where that waistline stopped you have to just square a line to meet that point and we have the perfect waist now so what we did here was to eliminate the waist dot then you just of course need to blend blend that point because it's no longer very smooth so you just blend it with a curve so now we've eliminated the dots we have also made the neck um, we've created the cowl but what we need to do next is to create the facing the grown-on facing that comes with the cowl neck so what i'm doing here is to measure a 5 cm above the neckline and then you square out that line you square out that point with a line like i did so now what i did here was to connect to the neckline but i'm going to fix that eventually because this is not how it is really going to look so i've just drawn this curve but then it will be fixed eventually now the next thing to do is to fold on that line so on the actual neckline that's horizontal line you fold you fold it over fold it in as i'm doing so so after folding we're going to cut out the pattern so now the facing is inside as the grown on facing will normally be and then we're going to cut so we'll cut the outline of the pattern like so cut cut cut
and then i'm going to cut the shoulder you know now i'm cutting both the main pattern and the facing that's under and it's going all the way into the armhole just cutting all the way now in the case where i'm doing a sleeveless pattern my facing might also go lower to um, cover the armhole also so i have a facing that is for the neck and the armhole at the same time but this is it now this that's my facing above and remember i said i was going to fix the cover of the facing now i'm connecting it to the shoulder of the facing notice the new line i just drew so that's the actual end of the facing and i'm going to cut that so now this is what my pattern looks like this is the cow neck including the grown on facing that's going to come with so the next thing i'm going to do is just to label that's my center center back and it will definitely be on fold and now the idea for cows whatever cow you're trying to make it must be cut on bias it must be cut on bias so i'm going to move to fabric now this is it on fabric i've cut it out sorry i didn't show that part but then this is it already cut on fabric of course cut on the bias grain i'm taking off the pins and i'll show you what it looks like so it's important to identify where the neckline of the main ends and where the facing begins just so you know where to um hold it you know where that v is that v shape is that's where you're going to pinch and hold it in so this is our cow neckline you see how it's already draping it's already draping so of course cows always look best on soft um and drapey fabrics definitely if you want to do a cow you should be thinking of soft soft fabrics so yeah this is what the back cow looks like and of course you can decide to make yours deeper you know make it as you like but this is the process to create a back cow neckline so thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video